So here is the scoreboard video of the ESP32. So see the back of it. There we go. So it's a do it. We do dev kit one. And then got a little breadboard and the TM 1638 segment display with buttons. So what I have here, and I also have so there breadboard. There's a blue LED to tell when it's connected to the Bluetooth app. I got two push button pins to reset the home and visitor team and then the eight buttons on here control how much how the score is so on visitors there's one point two points three points six points as I set this up for American football and we got a couple resistors here for the push button pins and the LED doesn't need a resistor because it's pulling just three volts from the uh, ESP32. So we got um, ground pin for the blue LED going to ground and then um, positive is going to um, pin 21 I have it programmed in this orange pin 21 and then for wiring up the segment display uh, the VCC is yellow so that's 3.3 uh, volts then we got um, the ground um, for the strobe pin STB can see that it's a purple wire it's going to pin 4 and then we got uh, the clock pin which is going to pin uh, the RX2 which is uh, GPO actually 16 and that's the uh, gray wire then we got the data wire, which is going to TX2, labeled on the board, which is really GPIO pin 17. And that's the white wire. So, if we plug it in. So we have no light there. So we can see there's power there and we can see power on the board. So we won't get nothing. So what we gotta do is turn on your phone or whatever Android device. Then you can go to your Bluetooth options and then pair up. Okay, it's already paired. So you pair up the scoreboard. You'll see it in there. Show up at scoreboard. And then what you do is open for testing. We can just open the uh, MIT app in vendor. And you get this. And on the website, when you've imported the app, you can actually uh, go connect AI companion and it gives a barcode or a QR code, sorry. So you scan that in, hold your phone up to your screen. It'll take a minute 
and it will load the application here in a second. And there we go. So it's loaded and see now on the board the LED, blue LED is lit up and that's to tell that the device is actually connected. So here's the app and actually if you press the little uh, Bluetooth icon here you can disconnect and it'll tell you to see now it's disconnected so now when I look at the LED the blue light's off. So if we connect now, press it again, there we go, so we're connected. So now if we, um, we can do any of these, do three points, six points for home. And then when we look at the segment display now, oh, of course it's going to, oh, I reset it. Now you can see the segment display. It's not lit. Same as the app. So then every time you go and add points. So the first four is uh, one point, two points, three points, six points. And then five is for the visitor, one point. S6 is two points, three points, six points. So that's pretty much it. So now the buttons on the breadboard, one's for resetting. Mm, that must be just a little short. I got the one's for resetting the visitor and one's for resetting the oh, team. And then you can see the app is updated as well. Now, if we put points on the board and we see the app, and we disconnect the app, and then we would say that we score more points manually from the board, when we reconnect the app, see it says three, but it doesn't match. So I created the little update. So if the uh, program's updated without when the app isn't on, it won't update the uh, scores. But you can manually update those. They hang the update, so there. Let's update them. And that's it. And I always recommend uh, when you do gonna close the app or whatever, just disconnect from the Bluetooth because it can cause some issues if it doesn't uh, disconnect. And that's it. Thanks for watching.